episode three, I wouldn't consider filler. It was a setup for episode four because episode four was more, I should call it epic so four because it was crazy bro things was happening i just say this things was happening in a way that it was gonna be solid ah. and then it did a total twist y'all ever seen juice where tupac was like you know last time you called me crazy yeah it pissed me off but you know what you're right and that's what that's what that's what that's what happened here honestly I, when i watched bro i saw i, I saw basically the Dark Knight with the Joker. <laughs> I saw the Dark Knight with the Joker, bro. I saw the Dark Knight with the Joker, bro. What up, y'all? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? We are back. What's going on, E-Man? What's going on, man? Hey, man, tonight, today, today was a crazy day. Yes. Today was a hella crazy day, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. We are back. With the Netflix series, man, this is. What's the name of it? We're get, we're um. Griselda. 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 And this Griselda, she ain't nobody you want to play with. <laughs> she is not nobody you want to play with, man. I hope the last one that you guys checked this out because if you didn't, you look you're missing a lot. Wow. This is something that you want to watch. So we we. We can't, we can't watch one episode, y'all. We ain't, we can't even get y'all review per review per review. We just giving y'all react. Re, we giving y'all reviews after two episodes at a time because it's hard to watch just one. Like I said, we on episode three, three. for this little bit right here, and we might, and we're gonna, we're gonna combine episode three and four. Yeah, yeah. Because we seen both of them, and we couldn't stop. We almost watched episode yeah, we, five. We, it's, it's once you. Once you start, I told you guys the last time, you just don't want to stop. You probably passed us by now if you started watching it. If you seeing it late, then great. But if you seeing it, this is the weekend it dropped. It dropped Friday. Yeah, you know I mean, this is the same weekend. We got two more episodes. We busy, guys, so we got things to do. Yes, but it's very hard to just not sit there and binge the whole season. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, even I, though you might want to. <laughs> and when the group, when the group came out calling their their record label Griselda, um, I was like, ah, why are we glorifying another blah blah blah? You know, all of the usual stuff that comes with drugs and things like that. It's like, you know, Nas calls himself Esco and things like that. So I was like, ah, why are we glorifying this lady? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But um. This is a bit of a twist because it does give you some female empowerment. Yes, yeah, a lot you know of SJW I mean? shit in this, man. But it's just, it's the wrong message for the right reasons. Yeah, yeah. Anybody, you know, this is supposed to be the country where anybody could be anything. And even though I don't like her tactics, you know, it's still inspiring to see an underdog, whether yeah. they're a villain, a hero. It's that, you know, it's why we root for Scarface. You know what I'm saying? Facts. That's facts. We root for Scarface. And everybody deep down, um, well, I don't know about everybody, but I know everybody, a lot of people in my neighborhood feel uh, unseen, uncounted, unimportant, uninspired, unrespected. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. To see somebody fighting for respect, even though they're doing horrible things to get respect. Yeah. I mean, this is the profession they're in. You know what I mean? It's innocent people are, are getting, things are happening to innocent people. So we're not glorifying any of that. Yeah. But the show is hella entertaining. It's mad entertaining, bro. <laughs> like, this episode is more entertaining than the last episode that I saw. For real? Yes, because the last episode I, I saw, bro... It was good. It it had it has some, it has some really 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 not just size raunchy moments, but it had like some dull moments in it. And this one, this had no dull moments. This kept me so so entertained. It was insane. Like this really keeps you in it. Like like this will keep you in it. There's no I'm gonna. There's no dozing in this episode. There's no I, I oh let me go ahead and eat something to keep me no. This is like, I need to find out what's happening and what's happening now. I have to maintain, I don't want to miss not one scene. 
A few times we stopped and rewound it. What did she say? What did he say? What yeah, did she say? We had to. Like, cause you don't want to miss a thing. Sometimes yeah. neither one of us are fluent Spanish speakers. So no. sometimes, um, here go the thing. For those of y'all getting a bootleg version, wherever y'all getting it, um, if you're not getting it from Netflix, you might not be able to get subtitles on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, um, if you try to watch it over there, you might not catch it. Yeah. But if you're watching it on Netflix, you got to read. Sometimes yeah. when everything go to Spanish, like in Godzilla, when things go to Japanese, you got to turn the, you know what I mean, read it. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I'm reading the translation, I'm missing the action, or sometimes I'm miss watching the action, and I got to go back. But it's some, it's never been anything too hard where you can't find it. No, no, no. You, I, I feel like... When you're not a, like you said, you're not a flowing spe uh, speaker of a certain language, you have no choice but to pause. If, like pause. That's why it's kind of like when you have an opportunity to pause, you have to pause to catch because if you don't, you're going to miss everything. You're watching everything, but you're missing what's going on because they're talking in Spanish and you're missing so much. It's like, damn, what, well, what happened? What did he say? What did they say? You don't want to miss this because everything they're saying, it goes with the story. If you miss what would happen, you miss, you like literally forgot you you don't you don't catch up what was going on with that story and you need to know with this you have to know what's going on with the story there's so many things that th that they do in this show that it's like why are they doing that but then when you catch on when you really pay attention you're like oh that's why they're doing this this is why this is happening this is why this is getting caught on this is why this this that uh that this situation is happening if you don't do that you're going to be screwed this is i'm at a place in my life you know, we appreciate all the stuff that you guys do for us yeah, as, a, as a community. But I'm in a place with my life. And, and, and E-Man and even Jody. Once we consume so much content, it's like we can't just watch anything, anytime, anymore. No. You know what I'm saying? So we have to limit what it is no. we're watching. So when you get something like this that's coming along. Um, I've seen Aquaman three weeks late and nobody would tell me anything about Aquaman <laughs> and now that I've seen it I was like oh man that's crazy I can't believe I was I was so excited for this man I might change my Justice League name after <laughs> but 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 seriously y'all so so watching this has like been a breath of fresh air for yeah. me man because episode four was so crazy that this we supposed to only be talking about Episode three, and then we'll talk about episode four. But I can't even almost remember episode three because so much is happening in the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was easy to do one and two because we had never seen it. But now we know who the players are. Yeah. We know what the plot is. Yeah. And episode three was crazy, man, because some things had transpired in episode one and two. Yeah, yeah. And the pressure was coming down on her. Yeah, big time. You know what I'm saying pressure big coming time. down on big her, time. and you know, we could just say uh, episode three is more of a respect where, where she had to like, she wasn't getting the respect that she was supposed to have. And this and episode four was her finally getting her respect. I we think. Say that. Yeah, we think because we still ain't finished it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But episode three was like, it's still the boys club. Yeah. Um, we didn't get a lot of the 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 the, the female cops home life. No. Um, we saw our son one time, and that was it. Yeah, and the main thing about episode three was her seeing uh, all of the opportunities that was there for her. Yeah, and we and 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 how she could have took a buyout. We would have never had to heard from this lady. We would never have to yeah. know who she is. They offered her so much money back then. How much was it? It was 15, 50 million, 15, 50 million dollars for her, her, and she had to split it with her partner. And then pay off her people. So yep. somehow she was walking away with like 15 million. Yep. Now, we Googled what the equivalent of 15 million then was to now, and it came out to 41 million dollars. Yep. Set for life. <laughs> So, so she telling her sons that she's only doing everything she can for them. It was for you, puppy. Come on, man. Yeah. Forty. That's cap because yeah. forty-one million dollars ain't no way in the world. Back then, nineteen eighty-seven too. Like. Whatever year it was, man. Come on, bro. Forty-one mil back then. Yeah. Before the basketball players was yeah. getting these contracts. Yeah. Football before players, baseball football, football, players. Yeah. Before rappers was really killing it, they was still rappers. <coughs> Bless you. 
the hottest rappers had uh twelve thousand dollar cars. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. Rent it. EPMD is it. He yeah. drive a Corvette, I drive a Samurai Suzuki. Yeah. A Corvette was like fifty grand back then. A top notch one and a Samurai Suzuki was eighteen G's. Jettas was twelve and seventeen for a Suzu Troopers, man. Rappers didn't have this kind of money. All she had to do was buy up half the Miami strip. Yep. And she could have been a landlady for the rest of her life. Yep. And her kids would still be super rich forever. Set. But uh Greed. You know, when when you when you see a certain situation and you feel like you could do more with this situation. There are people in the world who get greedy. You just can't accept just, just one thing. You need it all. And that's a person who either, A, they never had a lot. And, and this woman, you can tell, she says, I didn't have a lot. I didn't have a lot of things. I never really got a chance to do that. You know, uh, the things that I wanted, I never got a chance to have. I had to take it. Or I had to do this. Or, or people would, you know, had to fight for it. Or or people would take this from me. And she seems like the person type of person that no matter what it is, she's going to try to go for it. She wants more and more. And Everybody's more. on drugs. The people buying the drugs is on drugs. Yep. The people uh, selling, selling it. it is getting high off the money. Yep. And then her, it's a whole different animal. Yeah, man. she she's different compared to she's not. I would say this, she's not somebody that be on her on, on her supply. She's somebody who makes sure she uh, distribute her supply and make sure that it's out more compared to. Yeah, let me taste this real quick. Nah, she ain't playing that. She's all about, she's power tripping Yeah. at this point. She's at the point uh, when Tony Montana was like, right before he killed his man, yeah. his, 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 that was dating his sister, his best friend, right before then, this is where she's at in her, in her career, to my opinion. She's ego tripping. She is getting high off the power. Yeah. She's realizing that all these men is on the payroll. The two men that was most important to her, besides her three boys, was the accountant yep. and the enforcer. Yep. And then, uh, this is I'm getting away from episode three, but in episode four, about 50 people pull up. Is all swearing their loyalty to her, and so the main crazy two, how that the happened. main two guys is like, damn, I guess we just chopped liver. We just the first ones. The way we felt about her is the way everybody feel. People need a leader, man. People need a leader, and even though I'm I'm doing like toys and and and, and collectible pieces of art, it's like, damn, that's how you lead. That's how you lead people into battle. You get them hyped up. You believe we could do it, and you give them a purpose. A lot of people just need a purpose. That's why some people get in the game because they don't feel uh, by themselves that they have any. That their life is like they don't feel like they uh they life is tremendous. People want to fight like for something, have, uh... and there's a lot of people don't know what to fight for. Yeah. So they find something to fight for in that camaraderie, man. But this thing, oof. So episode three, one thing she said. She said her mother was a liar. Yeah. And, and she took everything. And she, she, did she it for herself. the apple don't fall far from the tree. That's facts. Because she's a liar, too. That's facts. You know what I mean? She's a liar, too. And it's really time for her to get out the game. But she not getting out this game, bro. I don't know how many more episodes we got to go with this season, but she is full. She just put her, she just put her foot on the gas, and she got a full tank. It's about to go crazy I, on Netflix, y'all. I, I would say this, though. She's a type of individual that she did make she did make the big head scared. Mm. Some of them. She's a disruptor. Yeah. And and she's and you know, because of that power that she wants, people are frightened by that. They are very frightened by that. But she's a type of person or whatever that you like literally that you have to be like, Oh yeah, she's nice and then they say, you know, she over there chopping old boy head off in the back room or something. Like she's that type of woman that you gotta watch out for. You know, she's she's like a like a black widow. You know what I'm saying? Do you think she should have took the money? Hell yeah. I mean, but, uh, all right, two two things. One, I felt like she, she could have took the money for her kids because she has children, right? Right. The other part is, no, I have two, two. No, because they, they basically was going to play her for a fool anyway. That little money that she got, that money, would she would have blew that money. I think she would have blew that money. Why? You just can't. She already had a bin. She already had a nice house. All you gotta do is invest in some uh, real, some real estate. She don't know buildings. shit about that. 
All she knows is all she knows what she knows, and that's the one thing about it. Like I say, with, with society, she's a fast. We learner. don't know about business. We don't learn about business. They don't teach us that in you know school. You got to go to school. You got to go to college to learn business school. You got to learn that. They don't teach you that in the household. You don't not. We're not learning all this type of stuff. So all we know is what we around and around, around our area. So it's like what she knows is what or her area. Like she said, she's been around. She's been around in the business for so long. She's been around big time people, so she know how to operate this. She don't know anything else. That that. Okay, so right now we have YouTube, right? So you can learn anything you want to learn on YouTube, whether yes. it's fixing a BMW or high-end account counting, tax strategies, uh, stock stock investments. All that's on YouTube now. So we're in a very lucky time. We're yeah, in the yeah. information yeah. age. This wasn't the information age back then, but her girlfriend did have a travel agency that she could have invested yeah. some money in. Yeah, she could have. She could have. She could have gone legit, man. I don't really take that as an excuse. I'm going to tell y'all something. Something happened to me about four weeks ago, man. I got a chance to meet Rick Ross, the boss. Right. Not, not, uh, not the rapper. Oh, the original, the real Rick Ross. We in California. Okay. So I met Freeway Ricky Ross. Okay. Okay. And, uh, he said that the skills that he had to run a drug dealing operation once he went to prison and really started reading, he learned that he had all the inner workings of a great CEO that could run a Fortune 500 company. He was always on time. He was meticulous about numbers. Uh, didn't drink, didn't smoke. Very focused on his business. And like I said, he was making, I think, $100 million a month. Something crazy, like crazy numbers. He told me to watch the documentary. I think the documentary on him is on Amazon or whatever. But um, but he said that the skill set that he had when he started going to businesses and speaking to them, because they want to know how he did it. Right. Even if you're selling Pepsi, Pepsi want to be number one on the block. Right, right, Coke right. wants to be number one on, Coca-Cola wants to be number one on the block. So he's meeting big businessmen now that he's out. And they said, man, if you had had been put in the right element with the right environment and applied those same tactics, you could have made, you could have been a millionaire with a video rental store. You could have been a millionaire with this or that. It's ways to come up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Nipsey. So, Nipsey so, so yeah, I don't expect, I don't accept that Nip as that was her parachute to get out. And she decided that the only thing she was good at was this. And, and hey. Listen, man, I don't know. I got to find my niche of where how I'm going to win. So let's right. get back to the to the essence of what's going on. So they offered her a big deal. They offered her a way out. Yeah. She didn't want to take it. But they figured out a way. The boys club was still cutting her out, and she got direct haters. They wasn't even called haters in the 80s, but they was hating. Yeah. And the casting in this thing is so good because that little fat dude with the curly yeah, hair. Yeah, Popo. Ooh, yeah. I can't stand Popo. I can't Papo. stand Popo. Y'all want Popo to go, bro. He's a nice guy. Yeah, y'all want Popo to go. He can have 35 foster kids yeah. in his house. I can't stand him. I, I can't stand Popo either, bro. But you know who flipped on her? There's this one dude, Amik Al or yeah, whatever. Yeah, the enforcer. Yeah. His enforcer is turning into a hippie. And they have this love interest type hate, of bullshit. Yeah. Kind of weird sex tension going on. Yeah, yeah. He be calling her up with his lanky ass talking mad Giving shit. Giving her advice and shit. Right. And it's gonna be a problem because she got the two baddest dudes yeah. in the game in her circles. Yeah. And they both kind of in love with her a little Poppy bit. Poppy ain't gonna like that. <laughs> and now, and and now episode four. So that's a, that's pretty much that's what episode three was. Yeah, yeah. Her her committing her first. See, the first murder was in what they call. I don't know the difference between hot blood and cold blood, but the first murder was a reaction. You cheated on me. You made me sleep with your my your, with your brother. Your brother yeah, yeah. And I'm mad as hell. And you can't go get away with you. Oh, you'll be back. You're nothing. Oh, I'm nothing. Bow. That so was it a cold shows blood. she That's had more of a cold blood. That, okay. Yeah. So yeah. that shows she had a mean streak. Yeah, yeah. And she was a, a what you call a, a wild card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Boom. Fast forward a few months later in Miami. Yep. You got this couple you never even met. And she orders the hit. That was a hot blood. 
on this cup. That's mm-hmm. calculated. You yeah. sent somebody to the house. It wasn't reactionary. When you do time and y'all sit at home and y'all plot out how y'all gonna kill somebody, yeah. you get more time than the person that's like, get out my house or what are you doing? Get away from me. Bow. You know what I mean? And even one is cold-blooded, one's hot-blooded, one is premeditated. This murder, she sat about it, smoked a cigarette, said, do it. You know what I mean? And E-Man thought she meant let him run away, put him in, put him in another well, island. I, I knew she was gonna get rid of the the dude, the dude but Just I thought she was gonna, I thought the mom, I thought he was because you know the the main guy, the main enforcer, he has a problem with killing women and children. He does not want to kill women or children. He don't have a problem killing the men, but he does not want to kill a, ch- a children. Which I which I, I I commend him on that. I commend him. He don't want to kill a woman a, a woman or a child, especially a baby. So. The, the thing is, I don't think it's fair to kill a baby, but I never understood that. I seen uh, some lady get shot on the internet the other day, yeah. and the dude in the comment was like, that's a damn shame. He shot a woman. What? Like, the woman pulled out a gun. Oh, shit. She, yeah, she deserved to die. And he shot her. Yeah. And he was like, I can't believe dude just shot a woman. And I don't like the internet anyway because yeah, I mean, I feel you don't like, know what you're going to get. I feel like... But, like, sh- I said, should, so it's okay should. to shoot a man? It's okay to shoot a man, but don't shoot a woman. What? Yeah. What is that Equal. about? Equal. Let's, 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 what are we doing here? We, we want to make this happen? Let's, let's make this fair. If you want to act this way, then let's act this way. You know what I'm saying? It should not be one way or one half, bro. I hate guns and guns violence, but on TV, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Same. Yeah, facts, um, facts. Um, Westerns, everything. Yeah. War pictures. I'm into it. You know, the actors go home to their families. This is real life things that real happen. And I'm sure that the people people who was a victim of her are having a hard time watching this on TV. I get it. I I get it. This ain't for everybody. You know what I mean? Me, being from a black neighborhood, not necessarily knowing anybody affected by this woman, we're like, oh, wow, this is crazy. But it's real life people. That go through real life things and lost loved ones to gun violence. And we just we 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 love y'all and hope that you heal and and are reunited with your families at some point. Yeah. But as far as this show goes, she crossed the line that the, even the hitman was like, "Yo, you'll never go back past that. Once you cross this, that's it." And she she is we see the making of a monster. Yeah, she there don't is, care now. Yeah, there's starting to be a be a point where. She's starting to develop, especially she's. So there's thing. There's a thing that they're they're calling her. They're calling her the godmother. Mm. And the thing is though is that it's the same terms of the god. Like basically, you want to say the godfather, but the godmother instead. And she is starting to adapt to that to that name. She's starting to adapt to that life. She herself did not want to adapt to that at all. She just said, "I'm not into that. I'm just in for my family and to help us out." But now she started to develop that that the God Mother. When it comes to God Mother, just like it comes to God Father, what does that, y'all? That's power. She's coming for power. The Godfather wanted everything. And she's the same way. Oof. So now, first she was scared to compete. Now she compete. Now she wants she thinks she's better than them. And um, she wants to take over. Now that dude in the background is the is one of the Sicarios we talking about. Yeah. Speaking of which, if you ever seen Sicario, that movie's crazy with Benicio del Toro. It, I think a Sicario is a murderer, like a hitman. So that's the that's her enemy Sicario looking like um, uh, Cowboy Bebop in the background. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, but he he's a charmer. He's yeah. getting to her, and she she's. She's falling under his spell. You know what I mean? And keep in mind, the first dude that she's about to have a baby. She's, oh, episode four. Spoiler alert. Super duper spoiler. Earmuffs if you don't want to hear it. And we'll get off it. So I'll, I, when I do like this, I'm off the spoiler. So so earmuffs, mute it. And then when I do like this, you can unmute it. All right, so spoiler. She is pregnant by... One of these dudes, I ain't even gonna tell you who, but, and and that's a big deal because you can't be running around toting machine guns and machetes when you're pregnant. So she's gonna have to make a decision, and if she get rid of this baby, dude, it's not gonna be effing with nah, her. Nah, 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 nah. And nah. this is the second nah. ass, this is the second hitman 
that's falling for her. Yeah, you know which I mean? is crazy. I seen her picture in real How, life. Though? Was... She ain't even like. Yeah, you know I mean, I seen her picture in real life. Yeah. Now I, I looked her up, but and I can see how. I don't know, man. It's just, it's just. It's crazy. crazy how they are falling for. I think it's because of her power, not not because of like the power She's that she has. She's got to be attracted but to that strength. She, she like they 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 mm. attracted to strong women. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They're strong. They're attracted to strong, powerful women. All right, look, I'm a un, I'm a un earmuff. All right, so spoilers back off. So that we'll get off of that. But if if do find out about if do they gonna come to blows. But I told you that the conversations he doesn't know about those conversations that she, that, that that she's sitting on the phone having with him. Mm. He doesn't knows about what 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 happened, what she did. Because think about it, when when that other situation happened, how they found so and so, he didn't know nothing about that. Right. That's gonna be something too, right there. And and this guy was this guy was a good guy. He 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 was down with her. He was actually attracted to her lightweight too, not fully, but you know he threw his. He was a he, dick. He was he a dick in the first shot. episode. In the he episode, was a though, he yeah. was a, yep tw- three times to her. Yeah. But this was the only way she was gonna get stuff done. Yeah. And now he's out of he's out almost out the picture. Now, I, they left us on a hanger on episode four, so we don't know if he's in jail. We don't know if he's dead. I didn't follow what happened. I think that to him. was him from that she did. I think that was him. What you mean? The one they found? I think that was him. No, remember the female cop chased him down the alleyway. Right. And then next thing you know, they was I having he, beers. I talking about good work today, man. Remember? I, I thought he got away. He did it. He got away. So who was the one that they got? Him. No, 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 no. Who was the one that they got? Her. Remember, they got somebody. She got somebody. Remember that. Remember, they found that person. Oh, the one they found was the tall, skinny dude that looked like her lover that hit the dude with the tennis racket. Oh, uh, okay. That I was thought, Popo's hit man. I thought that was him. No. I thought that was him with, with a beard and stuff. Like, you know, I thought that was him. With the cross no, around his neck. No, it was the dude who used the tennis racket. Okay. This is the dude um, from episode one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was him. I thought he, you know, he his time has, you know, t- time went past, you guys. And I thought that was him. No. With the, with the, with the, with the, he got a beard now. And that's what he said, fuck you. When, she, when, when dude gave, so another thing, he gave he gave her around the neck. Remember, I'm going to say, just say that. It's the, the, with the. Crucifix? Yeah. I thought that was his. Nah, see, he ain't wearing that. No, remember, he ran, the cops pulled up on him, and he's shooting a gun and all that, and he was running. Remember, the cops... Right, either, right, either, right. We don't know. Either the cops got him... We know something happened. We don't they, know. Because they was excited. Right. We know something they was happened. having beers right. and celebrating. Right. So how, you know, he wasn't in, he ain't turned states, he the, he the plug. So either, either, either he in jail, he could, if he get out, he on a murder rap. Remember? Yeah. Because the snitches, that's the reason she... Yeah, you know I mean? So, yeah, 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 yeah. Things was happening. Things was happening. I'll just say this. Things was happening in a way that it was going to be solid. <laughs> and then it did a total twist. 180s. It did a total twist. Every Them two them two dudes look too much alike. I was a little upset about that um, for me, personally. The casting is excellent. Every, a lot of people look different. Yeah. But these two tall, lanky, thin Latino dudes kind of... Give off a similar vibe. So yeah. somebody needed to have a different hairstyle or frosted tips or something to something to yeah change really, the way of yeah, it. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I can see how you could get caught up yeah. with that, man. Yeah, so, I thought, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. So episode four, man. It's just it was just yeah. So this see? scene, that, this scene that we're seeing right here, you guys. See, look, that's the female cop that whose storyline I can't. Which stand. is crazy, bro, because it's like. With her, she's figuring out so much things that she should not be figuring the shit out. She's the only one that's figuring out. And I'm not gonna lie, this broad is annoying. Like I like the like whole, it's, it's like it's whole. like you kinda wanna root for her, but then you don't wanna root for her because of all the shit she keeps figuring out. And none of these dudes out here are like the men in this it ain't a department, smart cop in the these, whole city. These men in police department are fucking stupid. Stupid. These dudes is stormtroopers. All they of them all are storm dumb. Stormtroopers, bro. All of them are dumb, and, and she's the only intelligent one. That's what's killing me, man. <sighs> That's killing me. Yeah, you know I mean, it's till a she, lot of till she finally meet a Latino cop, 
And he still ain't smart. He just he just listened to it. He the first one who gave her the respect. I right. say that. But he's still not he her boss and she's still figuring out stuff for him. So this is the scene you guys that, that he's showing right now that she when she was chasing him and he ran into he ran into like this area right here. So this is the enforcer guy that that uh that that uh that came out that, that he was fired. Dope, right. He's dope. He disappeared. He's he's the one that we're talking about that who called who's on the phone calling her. Yes, he's in love with he's her. He's gone. He's like I'm not gonna say where he's he at, but he's going somewhere. And the other guy, the one I, I you know what I said, I assume that he he was the one that she she got or they got. He disappeared, and see, we don't know if he is in, in you know in police custody or he disappeared. All we know is that the cops were celebrating, but we don't know what. We never seen him get nothing. And the worst part about the whole show is they act like it's one club in Miami. And every time they want to celebrate, it's the same all the damn drug dealers club. go to the same club. It's the same I'm club. like, come on, y'all. It's the same club. All the cops got to do is hang out here. Everybody there. Every, you know what I mean? Every time something go on. Yeah. So I don't know what to tell y'all, man. That's the only two corny things about the show. And uh, episode four, they introduce a new character. He's a Latino. He's a Latino. Uh, detective. Detective. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's him. I think his name is uh, uh, Delgado or something like that, yeah. man. He's running the task and force. And he is yeah. uh, the first semi-intelligent cop yeah. on the case, and he still ain't listening he to He sees it. her. He One thing I say, he sees her potential. She was on a bit of, I'm out of here. I'm done with this life. I'm about to do, I'm just going to sit at the desk and whatever. And he sees her potential like, nah, I think you deserve, you could do more. The only one. But he still has that moment, and they still got to show that. See, the thing I don't like is that they keep showing, even though this is 1987, it's still male chauvinist pigs moments in this, bro. Woman empowerment, where a man is the loot, the man is an asshole, and the woman is like, you know, she is like the most smartest, intelligent one, and she's running everything. Like I don't, I don't like that. I don't, I don't like that at all. Now I wanted to get to a couple scenes, like. This is them phone calls we talking about, man. And they kind of getting a little bit more intimate. Yeah. And um, episode four, the big difference between episode three. Episode three, I wouldn't consider filler. It was a setup for episode four. Because episode four was more, I should call it epic episode four. Because <laughs> it was crazy, bro. And I said, and I said, so like... She did some moves in episode four, like a major move in awesome. the swimming pool. Like yeah. two, three, four major things happened. Yeah, a lot of people came over from Cuba. Yeah, I don't know how the hell she did that. The mother, yeah, even though her son lost her life, she gave her son a reason to live. Yeah, and she realized then that if she gave somebody a reason to live, it's more important than money. Yeah. So now these guys are doing wrong, but it feels good because they have something to look forward to every day. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is why people root for sports, simply because they city. They from a city, they root for their team, that's the team city. If we all win, if one wins, we all win, if yep. we all lose. Yep. But the funny thing about the city sports to me that never made sense is you know, LeBron played for L.A. Right. He's not from L.A. Right. But he's on our team? What? He's from Ohio. I always felt like, growing up, like, if you was born there, if you born in Ohio, you play for Ohio. If we born in Philly, I play for Philly. If you right. born in L.A., that would make it a little bit more Since, even. Yeah, yeah, it makes, yeah. But you got 30 guys from all over the country representing L.A., and we root for them. But it's the same thing. People want to see their team win. Yeah. But do that make sense to you? Yeah, it does. Like somebody from Nebraska playing for New York, and now New York is rooting for it's him. The, but if he played from Nebraska, they wouldn't like him. Yeah, it's the same. Like, um, I understand you're you from Philly. And because you're from Philly, you're going to root for your team. But I know people who are not from Philly, who are from California, who root for other teams. And it's like, they think, oh, fuck L.A., screw this, screw this, screw that. Oh, this football team is this basketball team. And I'm like, huh? But you, I don't care about them. I don't care. It's weird. It is weird. 
but I get it. It's weird though. It's like it's something. It's, I would say it's something you gotta accept because of because how the world is. But it's still weird. It's like, well, if you're from LA, are you from like I'm, I grew up? I grew up in New York, and and I, I'm a, and I like I like I like uh, I like the Lakers. I'm not a New York Knicks fan like that, but I should be. But I'm not, and it's like this. This is this is the weird part about it. You know what I'm saying? This is how it is, and this is how society is. But it's the same. It's it's crazy how how things happen here. Like in this in this time, everything is 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 Colombian straight up. It's crazy how many Colombians that are here, and Where? it's crazy how in, in, in this in this show, oh. how many. Um, it's Miami. It's crazy how many of that. And it's what's what's really got me is, she saw these dudes on a boat. On a TV, and snatched them off. <laughs> <laughs> she saw them on a boat on the TV and looked at the TV and said, "Uh." Next, you know, they were sitting outside her her new her new spot. All bro. right, so we figure something out. When she do all this with her cigarette, yeah, you better watch out because some shit about to go down. Whenever, That's real. So whenever she do this. And start thinking like she just be thinking in her mind, like, drawing, like she yep. coming up with something to get yep. her. She is about to be on and popping, man. But that swimming pool scene was so epic. I said to E man, yo, that's it. This is the end of the episode. Yeah. What else can they do? What else can they do? E man is over, and we had another twenty minutes, didn't we? Yeah. The scene though <laughs> that he's talking about <laughs> still got me still bugs you. Out. Yeah, it bugs me out because it doesn't make any sense because of what she did to get that and then to do what she did right after. It's like, what? Y'all ever seen Juice where Tupac was like, you know, last time you called me crazy. Yeah. It pissed me off. But you know what? You're right. And that's what, that's what, that's what, that's what happened here. She's like, you know what? Let me show them how much I really don't give a freak. Yeah. Let me show them how much I'm down for minds. And and she did something so crazy I never expected it to do. Just imagine it was worse than it, turning down the, the forty one million. Yeah, it, it was worse, right? It, honestly, I, what I watched, bro, I saw <laughs> I saw basically the Dark Knight with the Joker. <laughs> I saw the Dark Knight with the Joker, bro. I saw the Dark Knight with the Joker, bro. Yes. I couldn't believe what I saw. And she's the Joker. She's the Joker. She's the fucking Joker, bro. She is the Joker. She is an agent of chaos. Yes, she is. And she knew the word would get out about what transpired. Because yep. all of her workers seen it. And she's seen it. Yep. i say this, though. She's more like a cult leader yeah. than a drug dealer. Right? For, for the Cubans. Like, the Cubans love the shit out of her, bro. She's more like... To them, she's more... Based mother, on the story. Yeah, on the story. She's like Mother Teresa to them in this story. Uh, literally. Because they do they do something in this. They they bow to her. They, they like, like they're praying to her, which is insane to me. The lore of her is getting bigger than the actual situation. Yeah. The, 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 her, her name. And, 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 and we lost one of a good people. Not good people, but we lost somebody who was like her main... Her Believe friend was her. good though. I'm gonna say because I ain't seen her do no crazy shit like 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 she did. So I'm gonna say her friend is good now. Yeah, she probably was on the she you know she had a, a bad, character. Uh, uh, bro. She had a bad upbringing. Her being on the streets and stuff like home and stuff like that. But we haven't seen her do no. All she been doing is giving her advice. Her, so right now, so moving forward into episode five, we no longer have any true friends. Yeah. No more day ones. True friends is gone, man. That's it. All she got. Oh, she still got the the, the lady mom, who yeah. became Square. She got the old boy. travel agent. She got old boy. She still got old boy. The who? One, the, the the main enforcer. He not a day one, bro. But she talked to him about a lot of shit. Though. Yeah, but he worked for the ops in the beginning. Yeah, he did. He, did. he worked. He worked with her husband's brother. He and did. flipped on him. He did. He flipped on him, right? Yeah. yeah. So so our our two row. And the and the beautiful girl. Yeah, man. I don't even know her name. I had to look up that actress. Man, I couldn't believe it. Man, I, I like she shouldn't have been going from this show at all. I feel like I'm not gonna say she, it's gonna ruin the show. There's two people that I feel like that that that, that the show would kind of like damn what the fuck because there's two individuals that she had in her life. I felt like they were needed in the show. You yeah. know who I'm talking about. 
I feel like the two individuals that the, that the, that she had on this show, the chick and the other person, was needed in this show. Jay Z had three people. He had Tata, he had Biggs, and he had Dame Dash. But mostly he had Biggs and Dame Dash. So that's four people helping give Jay Z advice on how to be amazing. Kanye had his mom. He had uh, what's the boy name? Uh, not Consequence. Uh, rhyme, rhyme flow, rhyme master. I don't know. Kanye had a couple people in his corner. He don't seem like he have anybody now, and he's going off the rails. Yeah. So I think that this will be her Kanye moment. You know what I'm saying? Woo. Rhyme, rhyme fest. That's gonna be hell. Her, if that's Kanye moment right there. Um, I think we're going to see the making of a monster, y'all. We, we look, I would say It's this. already beheading. Those people kept her, they'll keep her, kept, the, kept it on, kept her caged. In the situation that happened. They really couldn't. They really didn't, honestly. They I mean, couldn't hold her back. Oh, girl was oh, helping. Oh, girl, oh, girl, every time she oh, felt girl like. Oh, girl is the only one yeah. she listened to. The men she don't listen to. Well, she did listen to the old boy. The main dude. The other dude. She listened to him. Enforcer dude or the, or the or accountant? The accountant. She listened to him. Anything that he said, she would listen to. She listened to him. But, um, the girl, man, that was her best friend. That was like a sister to her. And what happened to her, man, that shit was insane, man. I loved seeing all the girls she had empowered. These are girls that were former prostitutes. I mean... I guess she upgrade from prostitute to she got drug more. dealer. She got more of them though. But I, well, the thing is though, where was the other girls at? They was they was it wasn't they there. Was, yeah yeah yeah. But the word gonna get back. Like, yeah. Nah, but and you I know, think that's gonna be a problem. They don't have no power though. They don't have no power though. But it was sad to see how that ended up. And, and this whole thing gonna be sad in the end. I'm sure, man. Yeah. Um, episode three and four. I'll put them both together. I'm still at a B plus, man. Maybe you know what? Episode four was an A. Episode four was an A. Episode three, it's probably an A too, man. Yeah, episode episode four and episode three. Episode f- three is more like a is like a B for me. Episode four is an A. And and the cop stories, I could watch. Listen, I thought about this today. I never wanna. You don't read a book, and then the book is like, then back at Johnny's house on Tuesday. <laughs> like, TV has developed this yeah, yeah. double story thing. Yeah. Like, where they got to have an A story and a B story and keep us intrigued yeah. and juggling and this is going. I don't need a B story on television anymore. I just realized how formulaic. I think I was watching... I was watching Monarch, the Godzilla thing, minus oh, yeah. okay. not minus one, which is good. I was watching Monarch, uh, Legacy of Monsters on Apple Plus, right? And they have a story with the young people going on in current day, I think, and the other stories going on in 1950. Okay. And every time something happened in 1950, now they cut the present day to the young teenagers trying to find Godzilla. Then they cut back to 1950. You know, then they no, cut no, back to yeah, today. I don't that. like that formulaic <laughs> stuff. If she doesn't know what the cops are doing, as a home viewer, I don't. I could do without the cop storyline. Yeah. All together, when she gets caught, I don't need. I didn't. I didn't tune in for a cop show, but all these cop shows, all these shows, even the powers, um, the the raising Canaan's. They feel like we got to be in the police office for 20 minutes and then be on the street uh, for another 15 minutes and back in the police office. Like, I don't care about that part. I want to see what's going on with her. I don't know who the cops are that brought her down. I don't believe the cop story. It's throwing me off. So that's that's the only, my still, my biggest gripe with this story. As you said, we don't even know. The criminals don't know what happens in the precinct. Yeah. We just want to see her, what she's building. Not even that, though. At least another thing, too. They still never get it. Like, if you're going to tell... A villain story, and then you tell a, a hero story. At least explain who the hero is. We don't even know who this woman is. The show is called Griselda. Yeah, I'm here for Griselda. I understand Queen of the South does that a little bit, but not as much. This is so balanced. Like, all right, get back to the cops. I'm meeting new cops. I can't tell you who any of her 
enforcers' names really are, but I know the new detective's name. You know what I mean? I don't know what neighborhood she moved to. She got a new house, y'all. This new house is like a bunker. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. People are afraid to even get close to it. <laughs> she got machine gun dudes lined all up. Ready. She left like 40 machine guns yeah. outside in the like Kmart parking lot. Which like, was insane for to no me because reason, bro. Like just when you were when you were an enforcer, are you doing some shit like especially if you you trying to send a message? You don't leave weapons and say like, "Okay, we have weapons to to take out these people." No. You get rid of this shit. Nobody knows what happened cuz think about it. This is 1978. There was no cameras to, to see. I where, think where, now it might be 80s because the hair. I heard her. I watched an interview about her hair and her hair and her dressing style is going to change. I haven't heard no more disco. So it feels a little. She's still wearing shiny I don't, but silver. But I don't still think with, with the situation. So it happened, might be I, 80s. Ain't, ain't no cameras to, to still tell who was here and who was there. You had to have witnesses to, to say that at that time. Right. So it's kind of like them trying to figure out what happened. As we're seeing that they're figuring it out what's happening is it's a little irritating because they shouldn't figure out who the fuck did this this hit. They should figure out they should be trying to figure out what what happened. You know, the worst part of episode one and two is that they found a cigarette in the ashtray with some lipstick. That's crazy. And this is where her whole female boss theory, female narco, is where the whole theory come from. That's asinine. A to me. cigarette in the ashtray. And a waitress saying the lady walked confidently. Like a boss, which is stupid. He, she said, is this her, was it, maybe he was his girlfriend. She didn't walk like a girlfriend. She walked like, she a, walked like a boss. That's so all y'all women out there that's walking like girlfriends, y'all need to start walking <laughs> like, like bosses. Whatever that means. <laughs> I don't know if you, your chest is straighter, put a, take a book off your head. I don't know. But... Yeah, all this, man. This is stupid. It was so, stupid. So the whole female, I'm going to look up who actually brought her down. And if I don't see a female in that picture, I'm Why tired they of the storyline. Yeah. And the lady's a great actress. She's doing a good job. Yeah. Um, she's she's talented. And yeah. she looks great on camera. She's got all these wonderful, fresh She's annoying, though. All she's these annoying. Looks. She's a fucking annoying, though. For me, she's annoying. I don't think she's annoying, but the guys, the, the doof balls that they put around They're her. dicks. They're dicks, too. Everybody, yeah. hey, honey, get me some coffee. Like, Money penny? He, <laughs> honey, like, everybody had to, every man in her life has to really put her down. And I don't think life is like that. I know it's hard as a woman, especially around a, a, a group of cops, but I don't think that, and all they do is sit on their computer. They never come to her with any clues. They never respect her. And they never uh, bring anything to the table besides bad compliments and slowing her down. They don't even bring ballistics to her either. And she was working in the office it's, where they do says, ballistics. She says, you know, we should, we should uh, scan the fingerprints. And he goes, it's all the way at the, the cars at the junkyard already. Why do we scan the fingerprints yeah. for? Yeah. Ah, that's more paperwork. And they didn't have at this Come time, they didn't on, have the bro. DNA test to... And to, you're a detective? To, yeah, they didn't have the DNA test. And he was to just literally to. drinking coffee and a yeah. muffin. He I said, like, all you good for is <laughs> to make give sure me my the paperwork, top is off. give me my paperwork, and give me some good coffee. And it would just seem a little TV-ish to me. Yeah, I didn't like that. Mm -mm. I didn't like that, bro. I ain't like that because it still keep pulling off this SJW bullshit. And I don't know if you're... I, I understand you want to inspire women, but you don't want to inspire them to be drug dealers, right? But what do you do? And they got them queen pins on BET. Like, yeah. they are trying to inspire... Listen, don't get caught up in the technology of television because they are trying to inspire yeah, yeah. women you know, to be I drug dealers. get caught by the feds. They will... They are... Do, <laughs> there is a push because yeah. BET got a whole show called Queen Pins. Like, what? What are you yeah. doing? Dr women of the drug game from the 1980s from their 90s. husbands from their husband watch their husbands and taking over their businesses yeah I, I never seen I don't watch it but I was like what are they doing here yeah. you know Queen of the South is dope and and I really like this show but that's such a drag it slows the show down if it was a movie it just slows the show down man it slows it down yeah but otherwise great episode. Can't wait to see the next yeah, one. Yeah, definitely can't wait to watch the next one, man. I definitely can't wait to watch the next Leave one. Leave a comment below, man. Let us know what y'all think of the show. Have you finished it? Great. If not, if if so, at the point we're at, are our assessments on point? I don't have no predictions for the future. Yeah, I don't know what either. happens. Yeah. I'm not reading no newspaper articles. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not in none of that shit either. I'm just waiting for the next one. Yeah.
So, so far, so good, man. I'm still up there. What was your final grade? My grade, my final grade for uh, for episode three was a B, and episode four will be an A. Mm -hmm. A, pff, the shit she did. Hey, that's A quality, straight up. And the ending. Each one of these ends, this is why our grades are so high. Because at the end, sometimes with succession, you got a couple duds. Yeah, yeah, yep. But Facts. on this... They keep ending on a high note. Yeah. On a high note. They ain't miss yet. On a high note. Yeah. So by the time we get to give our grades, we're still up. Like, yeah. like we did, like yeah, we yeah. did our drugs ourselves. Like, yeah, oh facts. man, whoa. So yeah, man, TV <laughs> is a drug, and uh, we're strung out on this show. Yeah, facts. All right. Anything else, E man? Any um, parting words? I would like to say, uh, I I want you guys to check this out. I want you guys to let us know. Um, how do you guys feel about this? What do you think? And have you seen this before? Have you seen other movies like this before? And does this bring like similarities to what? You know what I'm saying? And are you telling would you tell like your peoples or friends or stuff about this show? Because it's better than Columbiana. Yeah. I don't know if it's better than Queen of the South. It's going Queen yeah. of the South got Columbiana four. Columbiana was a, was an enforcer. This is I mean, was an assassin. This is way different. This right. is some different shit. But uh let us know in the comments as to what y'all think about it, man. We out this thing. Do you see?